And obviously, I come, uh, you know, uh, I uh, basically an audience from Mumbai, uh, largely a Bollywood uh, audience. Exactly. I would consider myself, and obviously, it's an education for us when you know South films do well, they come down over here. But in terms of marketing, uh, often we you know we hear that you know RRR, you know KGF, you know and Pushpa, you know that uh, they did well and. Uh, uh, what I wanted to know was like, uh, you know, obviously those films doing well does have an impact, you know, it gives a perspective. But is that the reason enough to, you know, maybe come down to Bombay and, uh, you know, uh, uh, promote the film, you know, and what are the targets when you'll decide, you know, okay, this is, a, you know, we are going to also release, uh, 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 dub, uh, you know, release it in Hindi in dubbed version. Uh, are there like humble expectations, uh, realistic or, uh, you know, have these, uh, have these films kind of, you know, given an altogether new target for you all? See, your question um, is a very interesting question, but the answer is going to be a very, very uh, long, uh, in a long answer, but I'll try to keep it as yeah, brief yeah. as possible. Sure. See, uh, like I was telling, um, you know, Ms. Lipika also today morning, um, you know, the success ratio, I think Akshay would know better of uh, any film industry, in uh, film industry per se, would range anywhere between 20 to 30 percent at the maximum. That's the success ratio. It would be even lesser, but not more. So, so far, uh, Hindi cinema, you've been appreciating, uh, you know, 30 percent of the cream of the best films. Now, all of a sudden, uh, thanks to pandemic, what would have happened five years later is happening now. And uh, the distribution network like UFO and some other professionals, the multiplex chains, they're all, you know, coming up in every nook and corner of the country. And when they come for us to make, see, I'm, the movies have been releasing here for quite some time. For I'll give you a fine example of two of the biggest superstars of India, Mr. Rajnikant and Mr. Kamal Hassan. Their movies have been releasing right from 1980s. There was a lull, I think, probably from 2000 to 2000 until Bahubali came, early 2000 to until Bahubali. There weren't many films other than Mr. Rajnikant's or Mr. Kamal Hassan's which were releasing. So, you know, I'm proud to say that, um, you know, this is a golden era of Telugu film, uh, Kannada film, Tamil film, and Malayalam film, because now with the explosion of uh, social media, you people are, uh, you know, you people in the sense that the Hindi-speaking audience are able to go watch uh, the movies in the multiplexes with English subtitles. You're loving it. You're, you, you don't want to deny yourself of a great film or a good yeah. film. You're like, acha, there's a subtitles, I'll go understand it. And movies are uh, universal. Not every movie we make uh, in Telugu would adhere to the audience here because some could be very native uh, in subject. My movie, Jinnah, I believe that uh, is a subject which would reach out to all the masses. So here I am promoting the film. The movies you mentioned, they are phenomenal movies. And why should uh, they be limited only to Telugu? And now they showcased it to you and you all loved it. And another great example is Triple R. You know, you, you know, it is, it's about two freedom fighters. What if they met? That's what great directors do. They brought us into a trance and they made us believe in that lie. See, I'm a liar. Okay, I'm an actor. When you're coming into the theater, I want you to believe in the lies I tell you. Okay, and if I lie good and you believe in my lie, then I think I did a great job. So that's what I believe uh, this uh, film is about. You know, how much obviously this tough day for Hindi cinema in the last, uh, especially, you know, uh, you know, with COVID and the last two years not being great. Has that also helped, you know, other market, other cinemas from India to, you know, find a foothold in the, the Hindi belt? I don't think so because, see, um, you know, the fate of every actor changes every Friday. Okay, every Friday. And if only anybody could crack uh, the code about money. which open movie that. actually works, I think nobody would want to work on a, a bad film. So. I think probably are uh, maybe the stories which some of the people, um, big films here are uh, telling is not probably, uh, you know, accepted by many people, but you have got some phenomenal movies like uh, uh, Gangubai. You know, what a movie was that? That was a phenomenal movie. And uh, yes, recently, uh, you know, I haven't watched it yet, but uh, Brahmastra was also accepted by the larger mass. Yes, there are, there are very good movies which are coming up. It's Lal goes through everything. When I, it's only a matter of three, four years, you won't have to wait for Hindi films or Telugu films. You'll just wait for an Indian film. So, you know, my movie Getting Dubbed will be an Indian film. It'll be a Hindi film for you. And uh, yes, any film really, uh, dubbing in uh, Telugu, which is releasing there, will be a uh, you know, Telugu film for us.